I think it's an early Christmas for me or something because this is what I really would want. I ended up buying it for myself, but what are you gonna do? You know, there's magic in that, isn't there? You work a job, your profession, every day you cultivate your talent and your skill so that you can afford things like this that feed into the inner child <laughs> of, uh, you know, 30 years ago or someone. Okay, here we go. This is what I wanted! <laughs> Bubble wrap! Yeah, maybe not. All right, let's see if I can get this out of here without doing any harm in any way. And that's all, it's in the tube. Now I know some of you have this. I didn't think I was gonna get it. But, you know, I might be able to find a place on the wall in my new office space, new office space. It's like my return to office space for my, my kids. So of course, this is the receipt. Thank you much, so much, Parkinson Art. Can you guess what it is? Oops. I already have the Citadel, the Flying Citadel from Parkinson Art. So what in the world could this possibly be? Let's find out together, shall we? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Lord Soth's Charge. That's beautiful, look at that. Glossy finish. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Oh God, look at that. His eyes, the glow of the mace. The black glow of his sword. Ugh. Ugh. All right, so I gotta frame it, and then I will put it on my wall. And when I do live streams, and my face is in the frame, I will try to make sure that this is also in the frame, because it is gorgeous. Oh, Keith Parkinson, you are amazing at what you do. I mean, everything from just like the snow and the dirt with little clumps of grass on it still, Tiny little details like that. What about, you got your sun. It looks like it's either rising or setting over here, but the detail of the clouds and then you have the white capped melting mountains there. So is this coming up through, like back there is the High Claris Tower possibly, as they're coming up and charging into Palanthus? Oh man, oh man, that's great. And this skeleton is just like really focusing Trying not to fall off the horse or something. <laughs> Is that Caradoc? I don't know. I dig it. I really, really dig This is so beautiful. All right. Do you guys have this painting? Are these things, these paintings... Uh, so this was done in 1986, I think it says. Wow. It's been that long. Oh man, this is gonna look great on my wall. <laughs> so do you guys collect these paintings? What's your favorite Dragonlance painting of all time? Let me know in the comments below. I will uh, show you guys what this looks like as a second part of this video when it's framed. So I will uh, check up with you then. And here it is framed. Now, I understand that there's this massive glare. <laughs> So you're getting a little bit of my ceiling lamp and all that in my hand, but I think you can get the, the basic idea of it. Uh, the room, my office that I'm hanging it up in, it's going to have a lot fewer, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to have a lot fewer reflections. And generally it's just kind of a darker room. And so you're not going to see all this glare from this glossy uh, surface on the actual uh, frame itself, but what do you think? Does it look pretty good? Does it hold up? 
This is not professionally framed. I just got a frame to fit it like I did the other Keith Parkinson um, one. I will eventually someday get it properly framed. It's just, it can get really expensive. <laughs> so I wanna wait, you know, get the pieces first, then deal with that type of stuff. But it's beautiful. I really appreciate it. Uh, definitely check out Keith Parkinson's website. He has a lot of his beautiful prints available for purchase um, uh, through uh, the company. So I highly recommend it. I absolutely love Lord Soth's Charge. It is a great painting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys have these paintings? And if so, do you custom frame them immediately? Or like me, do you sort of wait, sort of budget it out? Let me know in the comments below. Have a fantastic week. And until next time, Slon Javar.